Hello everyone, welcome back to Guru TV. I'm your host Jason Sutton from the Dana Raider Golf School. And starting out the year, I like to always build some good basics into each area of the game. On today's show, we're going to talk about putting basics. How are they different than full swing? And how are they going to help you to start to build a more repeating stroke as we go forward into the season? The big difference in putting, we start with the grip, is we want to grip the club a little bit more up into the lifeline or the palm of the hand. We're trying to stabilize the wrist and eliminate face rotation. So this is an easy way to start your putting grip is to take your right hand and put it on the side of the putter and put it just like that so the face of the club is upside down and your shaft is going to match your forearm. And when you turn it sideways, the hand or the palm is directly behind the shaft. As you place your left hand on, you're going to put it again up into the forearm alignment, then have your finger of your index finger of your left hand running down the side. Your thumbs are going to run right across the top of the flat spot. So that's your basic putting grip to start with. So the number one thing in putting is club face control. And the way we control the club face is with a slightly different grip than the full swing. In putting, we want to have the club a lot more up into the meat of our hand or the palm. So I like to think it's going to run more across the base of my lifeline, just like that. So if I turn my right arm upside down and turn the face upside down, this is an excellent way for me to get the shaft in line with my forearm, as you can see, just like that. Then when I turn to the side, you'll notice that I've got perfect alignment with the shaft of the club in my forearm. Placing the left hand on, same way, put it up into the lifeline. The index finger of your left hand is going to go just on the side. and You can hook that around like Tiger does. It doesn't matter. Just put it right on the side. The main thing is that your thumbs are on top of the flat spot. And as you extend your arms, the shaft of the club is going to be in line with both forearms. We don't want this look in putting where we've got the grip coming out of the bottom of our fingers and the hands because that's creating too much leverage and too much angle that is great in full swing but not good in putting. So we want to have a nice straight line. So as we get it on there, we got everything stabilized. Your wrists are going to tend to feel like they're arched a bit. Right? So remember, this is full swing. This is putting. That's, that's a great way to think about it. Next is posture. Right? How are we going to control the stroke and control the shaft angle? It's how are we going to set up to the golf ball. Connection is very, very important. Good putters have a tightness to their setup and to their stroke. Not meaning that they're, they're tense, but things are all connected together. If you feel like that the shoulders are a driving force in your putting stroke, then I, I think we should go ahead and get our arms connected to the shoulders. So this is an easy way to do it. Extend the arms. We're going to basically get our elbows into our rib cage, which connects my upper arms with my shoulders. And then from there, keeping the same elbow flex, we're going to go ahead and relax to the ground. My legs are fairly straight. My hips are out. And I'm relaxing my shoulders and allowing my hands to set just underneath my shoulders as well. What that does, it also places my eyes over top of the golf ball or just slightly inside the golf ball so I can see the target line. So that's what it looks like. You'll notice that the shaft of the club and my forearms are in perfect alignment. We do not want to see this look where we're too far from the ball, the handle's out the side, the tendency is the face is going to rotate way too much. So as we set up to the ball, we're right here. So now, all we've got to do is simply rock the shoulders back and forth, keep the head nice and steady, everything from the waist down stays still, and the club's going to swing on a nice plane. So you'll notice as I swing this putter, it's not going straight back, straight through, or outside. It's going to work slightly inside the target line, back to square, and then slightly left of the target line, just due to the fact that I've got a little angle in the shaft, I'm standing to the left of the golf ball, and that's going to really help me to keep this putt on line. 
But again, the number one thing is face control. Right? We do not want the face to open or close, or we don't want to add or take away loft too much. The last thing is solid contact. To create solid contact, we have to have a slightly forward leaning shaft. All right, so as we hit the golf ball, if our shaft leans backwards, which tends to mean that we're either going backwards with our weight or we're losing uh, some angle in our left wrist, then you're going to tend to get the ball hopping or bouncing too much. If we get the shaft leaning forward, we change the contact on the golf ball to a little bit higher, which is going to allow the ball to skid and roll much better. You're also going to get better distance control because you're going to hit it more solid. Very, very important. So, as a face-on view, I like to see the ball position about a putter width inside my left foot, weight slightly forward, and the handle slightly forward. That way, when we strike the golf ball, we want to return back to that same angle. I like to see about three to four degrees of shaft lean at impact. That tends to give me the best roll and the best results. So I can guarantee you, if you just go through these setup keys, get yourself connected, get yourself a grip. I know there's a lot of different grips we could go through here, but not today on, on today's show. Get yourself a grip that's going to eliminate face rotation, and you're going to putt a lot better. So thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for checking out the blog, golfgurutv.com, and I will see you next time on Guru TV.